Hi there. We're looking at a Master GMAT sentence correction question. And as usual, if you'd like to try it, you can actually pause the recording and give it a go on your own and then unpause it to listen to the rest of the explanation. So if you want to start it, uh, start trying it alone, pause the recording right now. Okay, to those of you who tried it, welcome back. Now we're going to go through this together. Of course, the first step in a sentence correction, according to Master GMAT, is in the work order, you must look for anywhere between zero and two errors in the underlined portion. And we always do that using stop signs, meaning red flags that tell us what we're supposed to be looking for. So right away, we see that we have a verb. And when we have a verb, we obviously check tense. We know that the tense is OK. We're talking about ancient Europe over here, no problems there. However, Pay attention to the beating of the bounds. That's our subject. However, it's not the word bounds. It's not a plural subject. We're talking here about the beating. It's an X of Y subject, and that's a red flag. That's a stop sign. So anytime you see an X of Y subject, you must be very careful. Make sure the subject and verb agree. Here, they obviously don't agree because the beating, which is an ING word, is always, always singular. All ing words are singular. They are not plural. So basically, we get rid of any answer choices with that same mistake, with that being A, and of course D. Now pay attention in D. Of course, they took away the verb were over here, but there's another verb were down here. We're meant to protect, which still relates back to the beating. We could get rid of that. Still doesn't agree. Again, beating is singular, were is plural, get rid of that. Uh, we're left with B, C, and E. Let's go backwards. Now take a look at E. Means is a change from the verb meant over here in the original sentence. And we have to ask ourselves, okay, does that little change do anything? Now, if you actually noticed, in B, C, and E, there are no more grammar errors, so to speak. So we're looking for other type of errors, starting from stylistic errors such as redundancies all the way to errors such as ambiguities and um, the new answer choice not fitting into the sentence properly. So let's look over here. So means, does that mean the same thing as meant? Well, in terms of tense, yes. However, if we think this is the answer choice, let's just click on it. We get, of course, our cool little time awareness tool, which makes us super aware of how long it takes us to answer questions. Can we click on OK? Now look, we get a nice little explanation answering the question as to whether this is right or wrong, and it says it's obviously illogical because of the change from meant to means. Now check this out. We have what we call diagnostic tools at Master GMAT. Very cool little tools which basically are tests within the question sometimes in order to see exactly why you're answering the way you are. Now of course if you did notice the change from means to me uh, meant to means and you thought it was right, you would probably pick this little answer choice and we get a nice little explanation that tells us why it's actually wrong. Okay, and of course, this wonderful tool over here, the try again button, we never just spoon feed you an answer, we let you try it again based on the information. Now, of course, we're left with C and B. Let's go with C. Now, C, check this out, the was, fixes the original were over here, right? However, take a look at the is at the very end. Now, we have the is over here, but we also have are over here. Now, how does that work? Now, does this make sense? Read this until the very end, of course. So, uh, meant to protect the area from evil spirits, although the reasoning is behind those thrashes are still vague. This doesn't fit in to the rest of the sentence. It doesn't make sense. The is actually clashes with the are. You don't need both those verbs. So B, uh, C seems to be wrong. Let's look at B. Now in B, pay attention that um, meant actually changed the verb. It's a modifier now, but it modifies properly the beating of the bounds. The beating of the bounds are meant to protect. That's OK. The was was fixed. It's singular now and everything else uh, seems to be okay. Although the reasons over here uh, is changed from, although the reasoning in the original sentence means exactly the same thing, so we don't even have to worry about a change of meaning. 
everything seems okay no stylistic errors no grammar errors there we go let's click on that make sure it's okay of course we get a little excellent and that's about it okay so next time we're gonna look at another master GMAT question and we'll work on this together until next time bye bye